Hey guys, it's Max here, just going over some spider curls, uh, trying to work these into my uh, training routine. So, in this case, I was put a bigger wheel on the bar first, and uh, you're going to see me hit 8 at 120, but that's a 25 on there, it makes it easier to reach. I'm going for uh, some spider curls here just to try to isolate biceps, forearms, and uh, get a little bit more strength there. Uh, so this week is going to be my 5x8 of uh, strict curl training. So I'm also going to keep him with that 8 rep range. But instead of just doing a 5x8, I'm uh, going to work up to a heavy 8 and then back down to 90 for a few more sets. So here you see my heavy 8. This is 140. Big thing with spider curls, you want to extend all the way at the bottom and you want to bring it up to your face. Uh, this way you're getting a harder peak on that bicep and it emulates that strict curl a little bit more, bringing it higher. I like the strict curl or the uh, spider curl because it has gravity constantly in effect through the movement. You know, when you're standing and you do a strict curl, there's that moment where the weight just kind of tumbles over on you. But when you're hanging over the bench like this at an incline, that gravity is constantly working on the bar or working on it for much longer. Uh, here you see me hit 90% of that last one, so I go to 125 here and bang this out for eight. You can see it's pretty challenging because by the time I've gotten to my eights uh, at 140, this becomes really tough. So I did a few more sets there, but this is uh, spider curls just trying to bump up that strip curl. Thank you.